Good morning students. Today we are going to describe nutrition in animals. We have learnt that plants are autotrophic nutritions which can produce their own food. These are called producers. Organisms which produce their own food are called producers. Animals are heterotrophs. They depend on other organisms for their food because they are not preparing their food they depend upon other organisms to get food so heterotrophs are animals because they depend upon other organisms for their food animal needs external source of food now we are going to discuss how animals obtain their food animals obtain their food from plants or other animals animals cannot make their own food they depend on ready made food which comes from the plants and other animals animals divides into three groups on the basis of their food habits first herbivores second carnivores third omnivores now we are going to describe all these one by one first we are going to describe herbivores what are herbivores those animals which eat only plants are called herbivores they eat grasses leaves grains bars of the tree for example herbivores are goat cow buffalo horse deer camel herbivores are plant eaters so they are called herbivorous animals second category carnivores those animals which eat only other plant sorry other animals as food they are called carnivores animals which eat only other animals as food are called carnivores they eat only meat of other animals for example lion tiger frog vulture vulture lizard wolf snake hawk carnivores are meat eat eaters so they are called carnivorous animals third category omnivores those animals which eat both plants and animals are called omnivores in the form of plant animals eat leaves branches and in the form of animals they get eggs they get flesh of that animals for example dog crow sparrow bear ant man is an omnivore man comes under the category of omnivore because he eat both plants and animals in the form of plants he can eat leaves of spinach and in the form of animal he can eat meat of that animal so they are called omnivorous animals in this diagram we have shown how the energy of the sun play role in the different types of modes of food first of all sunlight falls over the green plants due to which plants take the energy of sun and grow from there goat eat that grass and lion eat that goat even man can eat grasses in the form of spinach in the form of leaves in the form of fruits similarly man can eat the goat meat and man can be saved from the lion carnivores because he is a clever organism he is a clever human so plants use the energy of sun and prepare food by the process of photosynthesis 
द प्लांट्स यूटिलाइज दिस फूड फॉर मेंटेनिंग देयर लाइफ दीज प्लांट्स आर ऑल्सो ईटन अप बाई हार्बी वोर्स दैट मीन्स गोट ईट द प्लांट्स एंड प्लांट्स एंड लीव एंड फ्रूट्स सो ओमनीवोर्स एज अ फूड ओमनीवोर मैन इज ईटिंग गोट दैट इज हार्बी वोर सो एंड द कार्निवोर्स ईट हार्बी वोर एज फूड इन दिस वे इट इज द एनर्जी ऑफ द सन which provide food for plants and animals goat is herbivore which eats plants man is omnivore who eats both plants and meat of the goat lion is carnivore which eats flesh of goat this is the way in through the diagram we have explained how different organism depend upon the different types of food so sunlight falls on the leaves and trees so that tree leaves are eaten by goat and that goat is eaten by lion and man is a omnivore he can eat grasses he can eat leaves fruits which are given by trees and he can also eat herbivores like goat meat sheep everything as a food so he can be come under he is coming under the category omnivores so this is our nutrition of the animals which we have done different steps in the process of nutrition in animals there are five steps in the process of nutrition in animals first is in digestion ingestion second digestion third is absorption fourth is assimilation and fifth one is ejection now we are going to describe the definitions one by one first is ingestion the process of taking food into the body is called ingestion process of taking food into the body is called ingestion second one definition of digestion is the process in which the food containing large insoluble molecules is broken down into small water soluble molecules is called digestion as third is absorption the process in which the digested food passes through the interstitial walls into the blood stream is called absorption fourth is assimilation the process by which the absorbed food is taken into the body by blood cells and used for energy growth and repair is called assimilation last is ejection the process by which the undigested food is removed from the body is called ejection there are five steps of nutrition in the animal first step is ingestion in this step plants in this in this step animals take food into their body this is called ingestion in the second the food is broken down into the small particles water soluble molecules that process is called digestion in the third it it is absorbed the digested food is passed into the intestine and intestine walls and it mixed into the blood stream that is called absorbed absorption and fourth is assimilation this food is absorbed and now it is taken into it by the blood cells and it is used for the various energy purposes for growth for repair and last is ejection whatever the waste material whatever the undigested food that is not used by the body the undigested food is removed out of the body this is called ejection thank you